Hello guys, this video is all about sleep apnea. So what is sleep apnea? In simple terms, sleep apnea can be defined as a serious sleep disorder that occurs when a person's breathing is disturbed during sleep. People suffering from sleep apnea stop breathing repeatedly during their sleep. It is said that pausing of breath can last to about 10 seconds to few minutes and can occur several times a night, and this prevents a person from having good quality sleep. There are also different types of sleep apnea. They are 1. Obstructive sleep apnea. This is the most common form of sleep apnea. It is caused by a repeated blockage of the upper airway. This usually happens when the soft tissue in the back of the throat collapses during sleep. 2. Pediatric sleep apnea. Pediatric obstructive sleep apnea is a sleep disorder that is linked to children. This occurs when the child's breathing is partially or completely blocked repeatedly during sleep. The most common reason for this condition to appear in children is the enlargement of the adenoids and tonsils. 3. Hypopnea. Hypopnea can be defined as the sleep disorder where there is a decreased amount of air movement into the lungs, which causes oxygen levels in the blood to drop. This is commonly due to partial obstruction of the upper airway. However, in this state, the airflow is not completely stopped. 4. Central sleep apnea. This is the type of sleep disorder which occurs when the brain does not send proper signals to the muscles that control breathing. This is a pretty rare form of sleep apnea as very less people suffer from it. 5. Complex or mixed sleep apnea syndrome. This is the type of disorder in which people suffer from both obstructive sleep apnea and central sleep apnea. The victims tend to have effects of both sleep apnea issues. So those were the types of sleep apneas. Now, let's move on to the symptoms of sleep apnea. Following are regarded as the symptoms of sleep apnea. 1. Loud snoring for continuous nights. 2. Feeling of choking, snorting, or gasping while sleep. 3. Stopping of breathing for some time during sleep. 4. Waking up at night feeling short of breath. 5. Daytime sleepiness and fatigue even after getting good sleep. 6. Insomnia or sudden waking up during sleep. 7. Need to go to the bathroom frequently during the night. 8. Morning headaches. And there are more. So what could be the possible causes of sleep apnea? Obstructive sleep apnea occurs when the muscles in the back of the throat relax. These muscles support the soft palate. The triangular piece of tissue, which is hanging from the soft palate, the tonsils, the side walls of the throat, and the tongue. When these muscles relax, the airway narrows or closes as the person breathes in. Due to this, he can't get enough air, which can lower the oxygen level in the blood. The brain senses the inability to breathe, and the person wakes from sleep so that he can reopen the airway. The person might snort, choke, or gasp, and this can be repetitive. And as we discussed earlier, Central sleep apnea occurs when the brain fails to transmit signals to the breathing muscles. This stops breathing for a short period of time. When this happens, people wake up with shortness of breath or having a difficult time getting back to sleep or stay asleep. There are other factors that increase the risk of sleep apnea. They are 1. Excessive weight or obesity. 2. Narrowed airway which has been inherited and, in the case of children, it could be due to tonsils or adenoids. Three. Drug, alcohol, and smoking also can cause sleep apnea. 4. Allergies that causes nose blockage or congestion. And there are more. So that is it for the video for now. You might definitely want to learn more about the effects and the best ways to cure sleep apnea. So for that, visit Sleep Deprive.